And like a phoenix, he rises from the ash. I'm back, bitches. Today we ask, is it me? The camera? Or the film stop? Well, uh, sure shit ain't me. It ain't ever me. So, uh, let's find out what it is. Because it ain't me. But first, what the heck is Phoenix 200? As if you guys don't know, as if this is a millionth video. Anyways, it's a brand new C41 200 speed film. Yeah, brand new. Made by Harman in their Moberly facility. Moberly? Moberly facility? I don't know. You guys get the picture. Brand new emulsion, made from start to finish. That's pretty cool. They call it experimental and limited edition with a goal of improved refinement and... No, I said that weird. With a goal of refinement and improvement over time. Just like you should invest in old Dill here on his own continued refinement and improvement. I don't hate it. I don't really love it. A lot of halation, which I think is the part I enjoy, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, a little character here, a little character there for uh, five stars. One, one, two, three, four, five. Five stars. Have you guys ever watched the Blur music video, boys and girls? That's what that was from, but horribly attempted. Kind of, uh, it's kind of tough to tell what the resolution like is like when uh, nothing's in focus still. But uh, it's the same scanning process as always. So uh, eight stars? Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? On to the next one. Woo! Uh, I get it. It, it uh, you know, you start to see a theme here. Maybe, maybe it was in fact. Uh, well, tough roll, tough roll for me. So, uh, you guys saw the pictures. You get it. Four stars. Yeah. Well, I don't know where I'm going. Over here, maybe. It's an interesting grain, right? It's It's got a, uh, a bit of a digital feel to it, I find. Um, a bit noisy, I guess, is what you would say. But I enjoy it. I think it works well with this film stock in particular. I think, like, if you saw this on, like, Kodak's cheaper stocks, like a 200 or something, like a Color 200 Plus or whatever the heck they're called, I think it would just look out of place for whatever reason. I don't know. They have complete control over this, right? So, yeah, I like it. Uh, six stars, right? <laughs> Nailed it. I ain't that rusty. Come on. Look at the list. All right, you got me. It, uh, it was in fact me. Yeah, it uh, wasn't the camera, it wasn't the film stock. It was me, of course it was me. It's always fucking me. It is in fact, always him. I somehow bumped my exposure comp to plus two. And for whatever reason, I just wasn't paying attention. And yeah, I have a bunch of excuses, but at the end of the day, everything was overexposed, essentially. Um, I am quite impressed with how it held up to my exposure um, comps in host. That's that. Yeah, sure. You guys understand what I mean. I had to correct the exposure 
that's what I'm looking for. Um, I might put some here that you guys can look at, but yeah, it held up well, like way better than I thought it would for being that overexposed and being a cheaper film stock and being a 200 speed film stock. Like everything was just kind of working against it, but it seemed to hold up okay. This could also just be my inexperience with color film. I have no idea. Do I know anything? No, I don't. Anyways, um, this is the part of the show where I say thanks, love you, bye, and we all hope that I'm here next week. For real though, I will be here next week with some uh, some cool film stocks are coming coming here soon. So uh, thanks, love you, bye.